inside a high school in Kentucky, a student opening fire on classmates just as they were arriving for class. Students running in panic, looking to hide, some out on the street. First responders rushing to the scene just minutes later. At least two dead. Each year, students find new ways to express themselves. These platforms give students the opportunity to not only make a statement, but give a new meaning to what the arts can interpret. Laying on the ground, going off. It is horrific. Opening fire and others running for cover. There's a guy with a gun. There's a guy with a gun. Let us in. This is a real lockdown. Turn the lights off. Stay quiet. No cell phone. Welcome to Toledo School for the Arts, 19th, last first Friday of the season. This is a community school. We cannot do this without our community. Um, all the resources that we need, all the resources that we use come from our community. As a charter school, we operate on 40% less than traditional public schools. Um, I can honestly say that we're doing it better than most of our peers in Northwestern Ohio. We connect the arts to everything that we do, um, makes learning extremely important. And oh, what a mess you make. And now the final phrase. Love is a losing game. When we were established in 1999, we wanted to come up with a way to show the public what we were doing on a, on a short-term basis, not a once-a-year open house. So the first Friday of every month, we open up and we do um, a little visual art show and a performing arts show that we call First Friday. Um, it's interesting because it started, um, our artistic director, David Sagers, would be uh, you know chopping up strawberries for about six or eight guests and we'd have a few people and now over 200 people come to them um, you know, almost 20 years later. It's pretty neat. One, a two, a two. First Friday and Kaleidoscope didn't start off where they are today. As their early years, they were hosted in the basement of the first school on Jefferson. But they sure have come a long way. In 1999, I was approached by the director of the school to be the percussion instructor here. And we had about 120 students when we started, six full-time employees, and um, no budget. Uh, we were just kind of building it as, as we went. and. Uh, it was a very exciting time period and it seemed like that always continued. Um, so about five years into the, uh, the existence of the school, uh, they gave me a shot at becoming the development director and uh, helped me become a little more educated and understand the nuts and bolts of the industry and uh, I haven't looked back. It's been, a, it's been an amazing experience. Interesting psychic. No, you're the one girl who's psychic for two minutes ahead. I am sorry. Are you ready to order? Are you ready to order? Hi, bye, bye. Does she know you're psychic? She's psychic, you know. I know. I always come here when I'm about to get dumped. <sighs> dumped? So I'll have the usual, and she'll have the blueberry Belgian waffles, and we would both like coffee. I'll order for myself. Thank you very much. I remember crying at the first few graduations because I thought, oh my gosh, I'll never see these kids again because I had such a great relationship with them. I didn't have kids of my own at the time. And it, and it was very uh, intimate and very intense um, relationships. And then I realized over the course of a few years, they were all in my cell phone. And that's kind of how uh, me and my team built our alumni association just by staying in touch with everybody and, and letting them know what we were doing. The coolest thing is when people come back um, that are alums and they say, well, we never had this when I was here. And so it's constantly evolving, constantly changing, constantly growing. And uh, I'm really proud of that. And I think they're proud that they were on the, uh, the foundational level of, of such a cool thing. Come and celebrate the arts with TSA for Kaleidoscope on May 11th.